Hey everyone, it's me, Mrs. K. So for your first project, what we're gonna do is create an artwork inspired by the artist Romero Brito. So remember, Romero Brito really likes bright colors. He likes different patterns. You can make them with lines or with shapes. And then he also really likes black outlines. So I have my piece of paper over here where um, I have a pencil. I think I'm gonna use maybe, I have like some highlighters, I have some Sharpies, some colored pencils, and then I also have some crayons. You can use whatever materials you want in order to do this project. Okay, so one of the designs that Romero Brito does is a word that just says love. Um, I'm not going to copy off of the artist, so I'm not going to do the word love, but I am going to do the word art. So I'm going to draw and try to fill up the whole paper. I'm going to start by just drawing like bubble letters. So I have my A, and then the R, I think I'm going to make it overlap because I'm like running out of room a little bit. And then the T. So one kind of hides behind the other a little bit. Okay, so I drew with pencil. So now I can add some patterns. So I can just do them straight with colors or I could do them um, with pencil first and then add to it later. I'm just gonna go with it. So I don't think that I'm gonna mess up. So I think I'm just not gonna use pencil. So I'm just gonna do stripes for this one. So maybe I color in like big chunky stripes and then maybe I use crayons over top of it to add some shapes. Make white probably about the same thickness. So I'm gonna do all my colors first and then I'm gonna outline everything with a thick black marker or a crayon afterwards. And I'm just using computer paper. If you have lined paper at home, it's totally fine. You can go to like the dollar store and get a notebook or Walmart or something for like 15 cents. That's totally fine. You can definitely use that paper. It's just computer paper. You don't need a lot of fancy art supplies to do any of the projects that are in this class. Some crayons or markers and a packet of paper would be totally fine. Okay, so some chunky stripes there. And you really like bright colors. So then I'm gonna add another color instead of just the white. I think I'm gonna do yellow as well. And remember, for your project, you don't have to do a word. If you want to do like one of the pictures, like in his other examples, you're totally welcome to do that. You don't have to do a word. Um, I'm just decided that I liked his word art. And so I changed the letters, I changed the word, but I'm still sticking with that same idea of doing a word with bright colors and patterns. Let's see, that was pink. Well, hmm. Maybe I'll do pink. Hmm. I'm going to do the whole thing pink or half of it pink, maybe. And then put some shapes over top of it to make it more interesting. Maybe like the foot. Let's see, maybe some purple. And I'm trying to make my polka dots like nice and neat. You get craftsman points or craftsman points for making your work nice and neat. So do not turn in something that's super rushed and super sloppy. Art class is 50 minutes. That's 50 minutes for you to read the directions, to watch this video, to find your supplies, to make your own project to take a picture of it and upload it. But then 
also just take your time. Um, if it's not done today, if you want to finish it tonight, then you can turn it in tomorrow. The assignment will be open that you can do that. You have 50 minutes to finish the whole project and upload it. And if you have extra time afterwards, feel free to draw something else. And something that's just for fun, something that you don't really have to turn in. All right, I think I'm going to do, hmm, I only have a little blue highlighter, but I think I'm going to do blue here. Maybe I do thin blue stripes. Maybe dark blue in the middle. You also don't need like a brand new box of crayons to finish this artwork. I mean, my crayons are like decrepit. They're like really, really old. That's totally fine. As long as they work, that's all I really care about. And I'm just coming up with this idea like off the cuff. That means I'm just coming up with it randomly. Um, if you want to think about yours or try a couple different projects, that's totally fine. You're more than welcome to do something like that too. But you don't have to copy off somebody else in order to have a good idea. So don't copy any of his ideas. Those are his. So you can be inspired by his work by doing something similar. Like he has a picture of a dog. You can totally do like Google how to draw a dog on YouTube or something. And if you want to come up with like a cartoon dog or like an anime dog or something that you want to make and then add bright colors and patterns to it and put like a black outline around the whole thing, that'll be totally fine. triangles here maybe upside down triangles Oops. let's try that again hmm. what else maybe I put some stripes in here and go back to triangles So I'm just playing around with different ideas. If you look at the rubric attached to the assignment, you get points for adding your own ideas. You get points for adding a lot of patterns, using a lot of bright colors, using black outlines. Hmm. I'm going to do zigzag lines here. Hmm. And go the other way. So I think I'm going to add some more patterns on this one, but I'm going to outline it with a black crayon. And his outline's pretty thick most of the time. So I'm going to like start by doing a thin line and then I can always make it thicker. Hard to erase crayon though, so don't make it too thick off the bat.
thicker over here maybe cover up some of like my blue lines that came out side of the sheep Oops. black outlines are nice because they can help you like if you went outside of the lines a little bit help you cover up those mistakes I don't know if that's why he uses them or not, but they're really useful that way. You could have done the black outline before in a Sharpie if you wanted to. I just didn't. thick on that side. That's okay. Just make the other side match. And then nobody will know. Oops. Inside the R2. Done. Awesome. So here's my Romero Brito art project. I can write my name on the bottom, Mrs. K. And then you would just take a picture of your project or a video of your project and then upload it um, to submit your assignment. You don't have to do a video like this. You don't have to do a video of you drawing. You just have to show if it's, and if it's easier to show it on the video to upload your assignment, then that's totally fine. I hope it helps, guys. I'm looking forward to seeing your projects. Bye.